Yes? Honey, I need to know what you want to do about the catering for the reception. I'm afraid it's non-refundable at this point. What? The food for the reception. What do you want to do about it? Just, um, maybe we can have it delivered to a soup kitchen. Homeless people will like Caprese Cristini's and beef tartare, right? Right? They'll love it. I'll take care of the food. Can you guys just focus on getting her home? You'll be home again tonight, right? I think I'll just get a hotel room, give you some privacy. No, please, just stay at our place like we originally planned. Besides, it'd be nice to have you around. In case Theo decides to return your calls. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Whose idea was this? I, I did this. <laughs> I did all of this. <laughs> this is all my fault. <laughs> did you? Have you heard from him yet? Is Theo coming home? No. But he did want me to make sure that you were okay, which is ridiculous because you're obviously not okay. <laughs> I am just fine. Thank you very much. Yes, you were obviously just fine. But you're gonna stay here tonight, right? Like we planned? Yeah, sure. I'll stay here tonight. Thank you. Okay, all right. But if I'm staying here as a temporary roommate, I'm going to ask that we stop drinking for now and we get you to bed, okay? Come on. Okay, say goodnight. What is this? It's a bobby pin. You can keep it in. Morning. Morning. If you need something greasy to eat, I can fix you up something real quick. Or I can go pick something up, whatever you like. That's really nice of you, but I think I'm all right for now. Hey, what you did yesterday, donating all of that food to the soup kitchen, the people who used that service were extremely grateful for you. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, you heard from me? You good? No, Mardu. I'm far from good. But you're right. You need to keep going. Well, if you could do anything, anything, what would you want to do? Talk to Theo. This is your chance to act selfishly. So what would you, what would Iris like to do today? Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe see a movie? Okay. Yeah, that is a great start. <laughs> and... Maybe get something sweet to eat, mm. like truffles mm. from that chocolate shop down on Main Street okay. or Milk Duds milk dud. at the movie theater. Yeah. I've never had Milk Duds. What? I've been on a diet since I was like 16, <laughs> so maybe just for today I'll wear my baggiest item of clothing and just eat 
whatever I want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be nice. It would. Thank you. For what? Being here. Making me feel better. Of course. Of course. Now, go get yourself a shower because I am taking you out to breakfast and a movie. The scene with the chainsaw and the head cages. Oh, disgusting, <laughs> but awesome. Oh, no, you didn't like it? No, it was okay. These horror movies aren't really my thing. You should have said something. I'd gladly see what you want to see. No, today we are doing what you want to do, remember? Well, what if what I want to do is make sure you are having fun hanging out with me? <laughs> we could be going to a sports ball game and I would still have fun with you. Really? Really? Well, I won't make you watch any sports ball, but would you be up for a quick coffee? Your wish is my command. <laughs> <laughs> Is everything okay in here? Yes. Yeah. I just uh, forgot I was having a Christmas dinner party here this evening. I made the plans months ago. Obviously, I thought things would be a little different than they are now. And now, the last thing I want is for family and friends to show up to the undecorated house of the woman who was dumped two days ago. Do you want some help? No. I got it. Theo mentioned the party. He did? Mm -hmm. What did he say? He said you planted in lieu of a honeymoon. That's all. That's all. Did you want a honeymoon? What? Did you want a honeymoon? No. I really didn't. Why not? I don't know. I guess I just thought of a less exhausting way to spend the holidays. Theo always has all of these events and galas and ceremonies he's invited to during the holidays and having to always be on in front of his bosses and colleagues is... That's a lot. So I thought if I had a party here, I would be more in control of who and how I impressed and... I just get to stay home. go my broken dreams. We should throw the holiday party. Invite family, friends, and that way, we don't have to worry about impressing anyone. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the problem solved. But what about the coffee? Yeah, I'll take care of that. You just relax, okay, until I get back. Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay.
thank goodness you're back. Can you please hand me one of those snowflakes on the table? Thanks. Great. Okay, please be careful. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was just trying to decorate. <sighs> Where did you get all of this stuff? And how many of those are you planning to hang? They were in the closet. And 30. 30? <gasps> yes, and some tinsel and a couple wreaths. And I need to wrap garland hey, around Iris. the... Iris. Iris, we said that this party was for friends and family, right? Right. So why are you trying so hard to impress them with all of these decorations when impressing them was the one thing you said you didn't want to worry about doing? I don't know. I guess I just thought if I didn't do enough to decorate, they would read into it in some kind of negative way, like maybe I'm depressed over what happened at the wedding. And are you? No. I don't think I am. Okay. Okay. So putting aside that one particular concern, what would you then want to do to get ready for this party? I guess I would not want to do any of it. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Uh, hey, what are you doing? First, I'm getting you your coffee, and then I'm going to hang the snowflakes. But only 10 of them, by the way, or you tell me to. But you have to measure the distance from the other snowflake to make sure that it's... I mean, that's fine. We don't have to measure anything. We can put the snowflakes wherever. I mean, who needs precision when we can just hang decorations by eye? Right there is the perfect spot for the next one. And the next? Um, maybe there? Here? They met in high school and became best friends when their parents were stationed in London. They separated for a while, but ended up together again when their families both retired here. It was no surprise to any of us when they fell in love. They're each other's destiny. Yes, they are. Thank you. This is a really great party that you've thrown. I did nothing to make this happen. <laughs> This is all because of you. <laughs> Romance is in the air. Oh? Lou wasn't looking for love, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. I... Look, look. Well, most of us aren't when we find it. But not all of us have game. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Iris. Hmm? 
When are you leaving for dinner? Six. I mean six. Six o'clock. Six. Um, do you're invited too, you know, if you want to come. Oh, thanks, but I, I have a thing. Oh, a thing? A date. I have a date. Oh. Um, well, should I expect you back home or not? I don't know. Is it? How about not your thing? Thanks. Hey. Uh, hi. Um, I brought you some leftovers from dinner. Thanks. Ooh, scrumptious. How was your date? What? Your date. How was it? Oh, my date. Yeah, I didn't go. Oh, I'm sorry. That's too bad. Not really. I don't know about you, but leftovers are a far more appealing way to spend Christmas Eve. holiday dates and sex anyways. Not me. And certainly not me. I mean, this is not how I imagined my Christmas Eve would go, mm -hmm. but the amount of time I've been able to spend with my friends and family, and with you, I don't think I'd change anything about it. something warm. Why? Just get up. I will explain in the car. The car? We're going somewhere? But it's Christmas morning. I have coffee and chocolate croissants waiting for you. I'm up. Are you going to tell me where we're going yet? No. Nope. Are we at least doing something fun? Yes. Are we? You will see. We're here. We're here. Do you remember on your wedding day when you offered to donate all of your catered food? This is where I brought it all. Let's go serve up some Christmas breakfast. I'm a little overdressed. I thought, take off your jacket. Sorry. I'm 
going to go. No. You don't have to. No, I really, I really think I should let you guys get caught up. But honey. Mardu, what are you? Uh, hi. Hi. How's Theo? He's fine. Um, we got all of his stuff packed up and moved out this morning. Wait, what? Why, what? What part of what I said made you say what? And now the Theo moved out? Why? He didn't tell you? We decided that we just don't fit very well together and that we're better off as friends. Than... I'm sorry, I shouldn't... I shouldn't have done that. I just... concerned with being the person I thought everyone wanted me to be, that I forgot who I was. But you, you made me remember myself. And when you told him all of this, how did he... It didn't surprise him. It didn't. So, he's always known that I'm bi. Wait. He said that... You're bi? Yeah. He said that he always thought that <laughs> you and I would be perfect for each other. So did I. Bye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 